Who's ready for some more Muay Thai? This next fight is for the WKA North American 125-pound title. Introducing first, from the blue corner, all the way from Bowie, Maryland, Aaron Jimenez. When the hell and discovered the devil delivered some hurt and despair. Used to have power to push. Now I smoke pounds of the push. Holy, I'm burning the bush. Now I give a fuck about none of this shit. Two runner over and out of this bitch. Step into the spotlight. Woo. Vumpers and downers get done. I'm in a rush to be numb. Dropping a thousand ain't much. Come from the clouds on the mission to turn this whole town into dust. Don't make a sound, baby, hush. I am the living swipe right on the mic. I'm a slut. I don't know how to not spit like a loud. I feel the pound of my kids on your couch. Half of a mongrel and mythical team. Dealing this treacherous thing. Legend says hell is a spot out of hell. The mythical And introducing next from Calgary, Alberta, Megan, the boxer bitch, Cameron. Introducing first in the blue corner with 19 wins, nine losses from Bowie, Maryland, Aaron Jimenez. And in the red corner with 12 wins, five losses from Calgary, Alberta, Megan. The boxer bitch, Cameron. Let's give it up for these two ladies. Again, it's five rounds, full Muay Thai for the WKA North American title. This is going to be a phenomenal fight between these two young ladies. Uh, Aaron just came off of a stint on uh, the IFMA Team USA, and uh, Megan just was on uh, IFMA's Team Canada. Uh, two very talented young ladies, very seasoned, very experienced. You know, uh, the experience going the way of Erin, but uh, Megan is a tenacious fighter, and this is going to be an excellent fight, definitely. This is going to be a good one. Oh, it's going to be an excellent fight, man. Like, I was just talking about that. As Aaron was on IFMA's uh, Team USA, and Megan was on IFMA's Team Canada, and these are very, very well-seasoned ladies. they no no strangers to competing under the spotlight. You know, uh, definitely Aaron has the, 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 the advantage in competition, in, 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 I mean, in experience, but, uh, you know, Megan is, 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 a, is a tenacious fighter that's going to put up a fight. Nice spinning elbow, good kick. You know, as long as I've known Megan, she's been like this. She's been fighting and she's been in shape. But she posted a thing on social media the other day where seven years ago it was a picture of her at a, uh, at a party thing, you know, like a jamboree or whatever. Yeah, she yeah, 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 I remember two that Two beer in her hand and a cigarette. And she's a little <laughs> bit bigger girl, and, you know. She, then she discovered Muay Thai. Yeah. And, uh, you know, did it for fun and to get, a, you know, get in shape. And now here she is fighting on a world stage and fighting for WKA. Title. You know, title yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know turn turn life complete 
you know, 180. It's pretty cool to see that, you know. And that's what martial arts is all about, man, changing your life, becoming a better person, doing bigger and better things, you know, and, and uh, I'm glad to see that happen. I discovered drinking and partying when I started fighting. <laughs> <laughs> nah, no, nah, but it changed my life too. But, you know, it's interesting. You pull away from it, Beautiful how you like see it. things can change. But, yeah, this is... Uh, De Megan definitely needs to get her back off the ropes. Land some good punches yes, there, right? I definitely agree. good. Got to twist her a bit. There we go. There's something to be said about the women fighters, man. They're very tenacious. They're vicious. Like a girl fight is always something like brutal when you compare it to a guy fight, man. Like, I have no idea. When they, uh, when they fight, you know, like a, a, oh, it's sure. interesting, you know, the girls that are that are here and they, after they've strung together a few fights and you see them, and it's still interesting too, right? Because you know they get. They get cut, they get they get bumps and bruises and broken noses and stuff, and you still yeah. see them and they're you know they're there and they keep going, man. They keep going, yeah. yeah. They fight better than the guys at some point a in time, man. Them, yeah. I love it. Like I'd love to see a high level girl fight any day over a guy fight, any day. Very very good first round. Very like it's, it's a close first round. We're, that was quite a surprising uh, decision oh from our last fight, though. Well, definitely the last fight. I mean, sometimes the announcers get it wrong clearly. But I mean, in my in my personal opinion, I would I, I would I, if I was judging that fight, I would have scored it for uh, for Luis Morales. But you know, the judges are the judges for a reason. I'm not a judge. I'm a, I'm a commentator, spectator slash promoter. So I get it wrong sometimes too. Um, well, you know, we're sitting here, we're watching, we're calling it, we're not watching it to score it. You know, you're kind of. Uh, Looking yeah. around, enjoying the action, you know, it's kind of <laughs> tough. But at the same time, it's, uh, it, I was quite surprised. I was surprised by that decision, I'll be, I'll be honest with you. I, I, I can see how a judge would give it to him for, for pressing forward, being more of a ring general, you know. But, I mean, yeah. the strategy behind Luis's uh, application was, you know, uh, avoidance and, and counter-punching, and it, it was a smart strategy. Like, exactly. But, you know, uh, again, I'm not judging the fight, so I can't call it. Round number two for these ladies. Yeah, two of five. It's uh, it's, it's, it's it, the first one's always a feeler, and then you see the action start to like mount up into the, into, you know, from two, three, four, and five. Pick up, yeah. Yeah. A beautiful clinch game here. You know, and you had uh, uh, Megan's partner in crime and in, in, in life fight on your last show against uh, Cody Scott Jerome, McKenzie. who's yeah, going to be fighting fighter. tonight again. Yeah, yeah, they had a close fight. I remember uh, Cody got knocked down in the, in the first round by a knee to the body. Yeah. And uh, he came back and rallied back and, uh, he, you know, uh, lost a very close split decision. And Cody's one of those fighters with high cardio, high energy. You know, he, he pushes the pace. And uh, if you're not ready for that, he'll, uh, he'll, he'll put you to the test. He, you know, and he, the, the young man is a, is a, is a, mul is a, is a multiple-time Muay Thai champion, uh, uh, IAMF world champion. You know, he's, uh, he's a very seasoned fighter, and he puts up a good fight. It's going to be exciting to watch him in our main event here tonight. Definitely. Him and Gary Mack is a fight that I'm, uh, 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 I, I'm, I'm excited to watch and call and be a part of. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be an exciting night of fights. These girls are really getting in at a clinch on this, this round here. They're really starting to tie each other up and throw a lot of knees back and forth. They're transitioning very well from one to the next one. Yeah. Well, it's a lot of respect for one another, right? And I'd like to see whoever presses forward and, and takes the initiative, right? And that's going to be the, 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 the game changer, so to speak. Whoever pushes forward and, and, and brings the fight. Because they're very, 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 very evenly matched. You know, like they get in the clinch and it's, it's, it's hard to call a clear, decisive winner. I mean, Arian is landing some good knees. Megan, even though she's in, you know, on, has her back on the ropes, is landing some very clean knees and doing a good job in that clinch game too, right? So Erin is really owning the center of the ring, though. She's pushing, yes. she's pushing Megan back a lot and, uh, you know, Beautiful second round. Yes. Uh, these, this is one of those fights where I don't pity, uh, I don't, I don't, I, I, I don't uh, envy the judges at all because, you know, calling a fight like this is, 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 is you're going to piss somebody off because it's very <laughs> close, very well contested, and, you know, <laughs> it is what it is. With the uh, the lift on the ban, with the lift on the ban for uh, pro combat of 
uh, sports here in Edmonton. Yeah, uh, there's a, there's a lot of a uh, lot of local talent that's been fighting away for the last little while. Is going to be coming back fighting here in, in oh, Edmonton big time. coming up, right? Big time. You know, the the, the whole fight scene is opening up, and even uh, here at Edmonton Combat League, we're going to be opening it up and uh, doing you know uh, some shows. We're going to have these guys coming in and. Uh, and uh, and uh, get some pro fighters and and, and just oh, open shit, it up. Is that why you're asking me if I'm serious about retiring? Oh, hey, listen, hey, I'd, I'd love oh, to have no. I'd love to have Luke Spice on the show kicking some butt. Oh, uh, might have to might have to consider that. Oh, beautiful body ah, kick. That, that sounded out. deadly. See, just like you said, right? First round's a feeler. Second round, they pick it up. And yeah. now we're in the third we're round. The third round is getting and serious. It's you know? getting serious. Let's and throw it some. It just bombs. got real. Definitely got real over there. That beautiful kick. You know, she's got to, like, pull up, pushed up against the ropes and land in those clean knees. Good fight. I haven't been paying that much attention. I don't know if um, Aaron's knees are, are, are reddening up from her knees throwing or from checking kicks on that Megan's been throwing. <laughs> I'm not really sure. Here. It's a little bit of both. She definitely took a lot of low kicks. She's not checking. Uh, I'm not sure if it's about respecting the kicks or not, but uh, we'll definitely see. A lot of Aaron, or a lot of Megan's kicks that she is throwing are landing with her foot, though. Not a lot of shin on these kicks. She's not close enough, and I think that could be part of it. They're just kind of slapping. They're not really uh, landing hard. Where when Aaron's throwing the kick, she's really turning over on it, and uh, they're a little bit more solid. They don't sound as loud, but they're uh, they're solid. Yeah, definitely. And I think I think that's one of the misconceptions is uh, uh, is, is the sound versus the, the 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 actual effect the kick has. And when you turn your hips into a kick, it doesn't make a loud snap. Slapping sound, but it definitely does way more damage to the leg. Nice kick to the body. And you're right, she's definitely hitting with the foot a lot. I'd love to see her make con some contact with the shin. She's always getting her head up, like pushed back over here. She definitely needs to get her hands in the center. There we go, and then push down. You see Aaron Jimenez trying to sneak the knee up to the face here. Yes. Yes, Aaron is definitely controlling the clinch in this fight for sure. She seems to be uh, quite a bit stronger, but she's you know, being shorter. She's pulling Megan down, yeah. and, and it's, it, it's very hard. I know, you know, whenever you're in a tight clinch and, and they break that posture down, it's hard to come back from that, you know, and that's oh, what's starting time. to happen to uh, Megan. Her posture's being broke a lot, and she's being uh, handled a little bit differently than I think she's expecting. Yeah. Well, Erin's a very smart fighter because she uses, she pushes her back first, and as she tries to work her way in, then she pulls her head down. So, I mean, a very smart fighter, you know, works in, 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 in multiple, uh, you know, stages, so it's, it's good to watch. start of round four I expect uh, Aaron's got a different look on her face I expect her to come out pretty hard in this round well I think I think she's been taking in a lot of information and now she knows what she wants to do oh nice swing kick Counting that as a slip. Oh, nice lead right. And that's where she needs to be, like right in the center, not getting her face push. So that face push makes a makes it hard for her to get in the clinch. Then she works her way and then she gets a head pulled on, right? She needs to she needs to get that face palm out of her face. And, and 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 you know send a square up she needs to square up and, and get get uh, get involved in this clinch game her kicks are are, are uh, very flicky very right? flicky they're not they're not, they're not uh, she's not setting them up she's just kind of throwing them as a as almost a gauge of distance but she's not doing anything with oh them. nice spinning elbow she needs to do more of that she needs to commit to her technique and step in like Megan's a very talented fighter very very uh, very capable fighter she seems like she's holding back, right? That's, that's the way it seems tonight. Uh, a little bit more tentative than normal. Again, a lot of, lot of knees coming here from, from Aaron. Back and forth, she's got uh, Megan tied up sideways. And um,
Both girls seem very, uh, you know, they're, they're, like we said earlier, they're very seasoned. Uh, but Erin's composure is a lot different right now. She's very relaxed. And she's able to turn this clinch around every single time. She is, you know, and uh, she, she's got more experience. And that's what we talked about at the beginning, where the experience is a huge factor. You know, uh, uh, experienced fighters, they don't show whether they're getting hurt or not. And if, uh, if, you're, if you're not used to fighting somebody who's got that steel look on their face where you, you put out your best technique and you don't know if it worked or not, it, that could be very intimidating. I think Scott's telling her that she needs to, uh, it's, it's, she's got to pull out all the stops in this round, Megan. Well, Erin fought a smart fight and she's winning this fight, in my opinion. Um, in my opinion. I'd, I'd like to see Megan, like you said, commit to those kicks, not be a snappy. Yes. You know, uh, set him up with a jab or a left hook or, you know, a white cross. Set up the kick and really hammer down with the shin, you know, like. Like commit to your technique and look and look to land it effectively. Not, not land it like you know land your Ronos kicks off the foot with a little bit of a slap, but like you know step in, hit the jab, hit the hook, hit that hard kick off the shin, right? So we'll see. Yeah, she stepped. See right there, she's stepping in and committing to a technique. That's what she needs to do, right? She needs to hammer it home like that, you know. And she needs to get her. She needs to. She needs to fish her her, her right hand in there and stop. You know, stop being pushed over. Like she's she's yes. getting she's getting a face like she's getting a posture upset, and it's hard to land any effective knees from that from that position, right? And of course, Aaron could land a pretty big knee to the face if she gets exactly. that head and down a little bit more. And, and I think uh, that's what she's leaning towards. She's trying to put that head down low enough to sneak that knee up to the to the face. And uh, I mean, Megan's a good fighter, so that 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 definitely might not happen. But you know, why leave it up to chance? Like get exactly. get that out of the equation. There's one minute to go here. You know, Aaron Jimenez keeping the distance, fighting a smart fight. Megan's an excellent fighter. Like, and and it, when, when they're in open territory, it's pretty even. Yes. This clinch game is the difference maker. And, and you know, it's... I tend to agree with you. And yeah. it seems to be just edging each one of the clinch uh, exchanges just a little bit more, right? They're very back and forth on their stand-up. Yeah. Like in open territory, it's, it's 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 an even fight. But in the clinch game, uh, Aaron, Aaron Aaron's got the right the right tactic. She's definitely bringing the heat. You know, she upsets Megan's posture and just works. And that's definitely like the the, the, the deciding factor here is that clinch game. You know, oh, the spinning, nice elbow, spinning elbow. Again. You know, and, and again, she that's probably the second or third one she's throwing. She should be throwing more of that. Like I mean, Aaron's coming down, right down the center. She needs to throw those knees, those spinning elbows. I mean. Well, that was an excellent fight from his two ladies for their WKA North American title fight. Judge one calls a fight 47-48 red. Judge blue calls a fight 50-45 blue. Judge three calls a fight 49-46 for your winner by split decision. From the blue corner, Aaron Jimenez. Congratulations, Aaron. Let's face this way. So, did anything that Megan did surprise you tonight? Um, not really. I know she's a really good counterfighter and she's very technical. Um, I kind of expected her the way she was. Uh, she's a really good fighter. You really, were, you really were able to work your way in and break down her posture in the clinch, we noticed. That was a big time factor, I think, in, in this fight for you. Do you agree? Uh, yeah, I agree. I, was, I felt like I was stronger in the clinch. And yeah. Are you a little nervous? 
Yes, I'm not really used to this. That's okay. Congratulations on your win. Do you have anybody you want to thank back home? Um, I want to thank my husband, who's also my coach, and my teammates back in Maryland. Um, I'm also thankful for the Edmonton Combat League for bringing me here. I'm really appreciated. I hope I, I hope I can come back again. Uh, Canada's awesome. <laughs> Good. Well, congratulations again, and we hope to see you back here. Introducing first from the blue corner, making his way from Jacksonville, Florida, Omar Lee.